So you're thinking of buying a home in New Jersey and you want to know more about Chatham. Well, I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons. I'm gonna give you some demographics. I'm gonna give you some statistics and I'm gonna give you a couple links that you can go to that you can keep up to date on everything there is to know about Chatham, New Jersey. All right, first off, let's talk about Chatham. Chatham is situated about 25 miles west of New York City. It borders Summit, Madison, Florham Park, and there are two sections to Chatham. There's Chatham Borough and Chatham Township. The borough is basically the section that's closest to the station. A lot of the properties there have a little less square footage, a little less acreage, generally speaking, and that township is a little further away from the station. Um, it has more acreage, uh, the properties have more square footage. Uh, it just generally speaking, that's sort of the difference between the two. So I just want to let everyone know before I delve into the numbers and the stats and such, and before I go into the pros and cons, I have two links below. One is the market report and the other is the community page. Now the market report will give you the most current housing market stats in Chatham Township and Chatham Borough. Uh, I might start talking about numbers now that are meaningless about six months from now. Just click on that link and you'll get the current median price, days on market, how many homes are sold last month, how many homes are listed last month. It'll just keep you current on the market. The other link, the community link, is an incredible page that I put together for you and it talks about all the restaurants, all the coffee shops, all the parks, nearby medical facilities. There's a page dedicated just for the community events. It even talks about the weather. So that page is even valuable for people who already live in Chatham. So check that link out and again, it's current, it's up to date, it's ever changing. All right, let's jump into the stats here. Population is 19,553. That's about 9,000 plus in the borough, uh, 10,000 plus in the township. The medium home value for the year so far, and I'm pulling this stat from realtor.com, is 970,000, and 81% of the residents own their home. The median household income is $207,059. The median age is 40.9. And the tax rate, everyone wants to know the tax rate. And I'm pulling this from joeshimkus.com. The most current tax rate as of July 2023 is in the township, it's 1.94. And in the borough, it's 2.18. Now, I just want to say, if you want to get more in-depth numbers, if you want to really delve into community statistics, school statistics, crime rates, and all that, I highly suggest you go to these sites because you want to keep absolutely up to date with these numbers. You want to go to greatschools.org, niche.com, city-data.com, and neighborhoodscouts.com. Those four websites, and there are more, but these are the ones I recommend, will give you all the information you could ever want about any area that you're looking in. Before I get into the pros and cons, uh, I just want to say please like, please comment, please subscribe, but most importantly, please reach out to me if you have any questions about real estate. You may be thinking of buying now, you may be thinking of buying later, you're thinking of selling now, thinking of selling later. It doesn't matter. Reach out to me. I'm happy to help out any way I can. All right, the pros and cons. The biggest pro I think in Chatham, in Morris County that is, is the commutability, the, the transportation. You have a station there that is 45 to 50 minutes straight into New York Penn Station, 45 to 50 minutes straight into Hoboken to where you can jump on a path, get right into the financial district real quick. Um, you're right next to the 24, which takes you straight to the 78. You're so close to all the other highways, interstates, and routes. Transportation, communability, um, in Morris County, Chatham is the best. The next pro about living in Chatham is the parks and outdoor spaces. Chatham's not a, the largest township or borough, but man, it has some incredible parks. To name a couple, you have Memorial Park, which is the central park in uh, Chatham Borough, and it's a great gathering spot. Uh, they do all their concerts, events, community celebrations there. It does have a playground with a basketball court. It's just a great all-around park. Then you have the Shepherd Cullock Park. Uh, it's small. It's a tiny park, but it's it's incredible 
just so beautiful. And it's a great park if you want to reflect or just have a leisurely stroll. I highly recommend it. We have the Passaic River Park, which is alongside the Passaic River. Great nature trails. You can do some bird watching there. Uh, and then you have the Cougar Field, where the Cougar Field Sporting Complex. And this is where, you know, mostly football and lacrosse. Uh, but this is where all the high school sports happen and it hosts a lot of local sporting events there too. If you want something bigger, larger, with more extensive hiking trails, you have the Luntaka Brook Reservation and the Great Swamp National Wildlife Refuge. That was a lot to say. Incredible spaces where you can hike for hours and connect with nature. And the next pro, which is my favorite, is all the wonderful boutique shops that are along Main Street. You walk along Main Street and it's such an incredible vibe, a great atmosphere. You have restaurants, coffee shops, again, boutique shops. There's grocery stores, there's everything that you could want. And whether you decide to move to Chatham or not, make a trip, go to Chatham, have a great coffee, have a great meal, and enjoy this incredible area. And click on that tab down below because it will talk about every restaurant, boutique shop, coffee shop that's there, everything that you need to know. And finally, let's talk about the tax rate. As far as commutable locations go, it is one of the lowest taxed areas. And so let's just delve into the numbers. And again, I'm going to Joe Shimkus for this. Uh, for commutable areas, Essex County as of whole, which is one of the closest commutable areas next to Hudson County and Union, is 3.14. Union County is 6.3, and this is the whole areas. There are areas in Essex that are much higher than the 3.1, and in Union, there are some areas that are higher than the 6.3. When you look at Chatham at 1.94 and 2.10, that is a really low tax rate. All right, I'm going to go into the cons now. Now, I'm putting this one in there. It might not be a con to some, but I'm still putting it in there, is the 970000 median home value. That could be considered high to a lot of people. Now, there are some properties as low as 500000 That might be a two-bed residence or properties that might need a lot of renovation, but 970 median uh, home sale price is, it could be considered pretty high. Another con is the 45 to 50 minutes into town still may be a very long commute to some people. And if that's the case, then I don't think Morris County is for you because Chatham is the closest area via uh, transportation to get into New York. So um, you might want to look in Essex or parts of Union, parts of Bergen or Hudson County. And there you have it, the pros and cons to living in Chatham, New Jersey. I want to finish this by just talking about the median sales for bedroom count because I always feel that this is a very important number for someone who's budgeting for Chatham uh, because that just 970 is meaningless if you're only looking for a one bedroom house. The one bedrooms are going for 394,000. The two beds, 542,000. The three beds, 765,000. The four beds, 1.1 million. And the five beds, 2 million. These are all median prices as of the year through realtor.com. Now, can you find a four bedroom under 1 million? Of course you can. You can find a four bedroom for 700 to 800,000, depending on the location, the distance from the station. It could lay out, there could be smaller acreage. It might need a new kitchen, a new roof, but still very livable. Yes, you can find properties that are less than these median costs. So don't worry about that. All right, that's it, Chatham, New Jersey. I hope I answered all your questions. If I didn't, please comment, please contact me. Please like this video, please subscribe to my channel and reach out to me if you have any questions. If I do not know the answer, I will find the answer for you. And don't forget those links below, the most current market report and the community page that will tell you everything you need to know. I'll see you in the next video.